Mr. Deputy Speaker, sir, Deputy Chairman, sir. The statement of uh, Honorable Home Minister is most disappointing. Mike, Mike. Uh, the statement of Honorable Home Minister is most disappointing. I know that while making this, this statement, he would have compromised his conscience. Because what he has stated is not the truth. He has hidden the truth. And the whole country knows the truth. But the statement from the Honorable Home Minister that nothing has happened and this, what has been reported in the TV is not correct. Sir, I am not going to deal with what the Union HRD, Minister of State for HRD has said in Agra. On the same line, in Karnataka, one of the MPs, he called the press conference and with all emphasis, he says, as long as we have Islam in the world, there will be no end to terrorism. If you are unable to end Islam, we won't be able to end terrorism. And he addressed the media. If you media people have the freedom to report, please report. And he further says, I have been consistently saying this from last 20 years. And you are consistently giving a person who is taking an oath on the Constitution. He is violating the Constitution. He is violating Article 25 and 26 of the Constitution. Every day he is violating. And you say that we don't know. I would like to know from the Honorable Home Minister whether you want to rule this country on the development plan or you want to rule the country by spreading the poisonous. If a snake bites, one person will die. If one public representative, if one MP or MLA, venom is spread, Thousands and thousands of brains are poisoned. And that is what you, you want to rule this country by poisoning the, the, the citizens' mind? By spreading this? Today the Honorable Prime Minister was telling, this 125 crore people of this country will, will build this nation. You want to eliminate 15 to 20 crores according to your MP from this development process? And they should be out from the process. Sir, please don't do it. If you want to do, do it. Nobody is afraid. No, please understand. If by making some statement, you will not be able to create terror among this thing. Only we pity you. We pity all those who are spreading poisonous and trying to divide the country. And you... One say, you say you want to unite the country, you want to take the country on the development, and you want not to take any action. So far in this nearly two years, you have not taken a single action, and the Prime Minister, he has to create confidence among every citizen. I, as a citizen of this country, I feel I am not safe. My Prime Minister is not able to protect me. He is the Prime Minister of the country. He talks on everything on this earth. But he will not talk on this issue. And he should come out. If he is honest, if he is sincere, he wants to build this country on development plans, he should speak. None of that you can speak. He should speak to this country, to this nation, and assure all those who feel threatened to live in this country. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you very much, Rick. Ken Balkopal. Minister's statement. 